Hello everybody, I want to wish everyone a wonderful new year. I just want to say thank you for signing up for the San Diego Public Library's Teen Craft Program and that is held every second Wednesday of the month. So hopefully if you're watching this video, you've already picked up your kit and is ready in front of you. If you didn't get a kit, that's totally okay. You can do this too with the following supplies. So you will need two six feet paracord, preferably different colors, a thin ribbon, a carabiner, a paracord lock, and in this kit includes a lighter, so advisory for kids and adults. Kids, only adults are able to use this lighter. Again, only adults are able to use this lighter. So we need this part to seal the paracord ends on step 12 and 15. So afterwards, parents, please dispose safely and immediately after use. One last thing you do need to have is a pair of scissors. So let's get started. I can't wait to show you how to make your very own DIY paracord bottle holder. So here we are, we're gonna start. We're gonna grab your first color paracord that you want to be on the inside. So for my case, I want mine to be blue. You're gonna go ahead, grab both ends together and find the middle. You're gonna loop through your blue ribbon, your small thin blue ribbon and you're gonna go ahead and match the ends there, just like so. You're gonna grab your paracord lock. There's a spring in there that you have to press down so that you could see the hole, just like that. So you have to press it down while you're threading through the blue ribbon. It can get tricky sometimes. Sometimes if you don't press it all the way down, the ribbon will get stuck in the spring. So while you're doing it, press it all the way down, thread through the ribbon, then let go to release to lock it so that and then from there press again all the way down and pull hard the paracord will be tight so just pull really hard and that should go through just like that you're going to want about four to five inches of loop so you're going to pull down your paracord lock just a little bit lower just enough so that you could put your hydro flask or any water bottle through there next you're going to grab both ends of your blue paracord And you're going to grab your carabiner, you're going to place it right behind it, and you're going to have it go through the carabiner, and you're going to pull down, just like that. You're going to pull all the way down until you have about 5 inches, like 4 to 5 inches from the carabiner to the paracord lock. So it's about the same distance with your loop. So you're going to have, um, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit just so you could see it. You're going to have a left cord and a right cord. And in between those two are what I call legs. We're, go we're going to continue or start our knot. So you're going to go ahead and grab your right paracord end. You're going to form a letter D. You're going to grab your left paracord and you're going to put it over the tail of your letter D. And then you're going to grab that end, you're going to slide it under the tail of the letter D, under the two legs, and through the letter D. Like so. It's tricky on your very first knot only because there's nothing for the knot to hold on to. You're going to have to use your thumb and your index finger to hold down the carabiner while tightening it so it can be tricky so have an adult help you with this part so next we're going to do our letter c we're going to do the exact same thing but just on the opposite side so you're going to grab your left end you're going to form a letter c You're going to grab your right end of your paracord, you're going to put it over the tail of your letter C, just like that. And then you're going to have the end go underneath the tail, and beneath the two legs, and through the letter C. You're going to pull it, tighten it, you're going to tighten it all the way, make sure there's no space or gap in between there. 
you're going to continue and repeat this whole process. So you're going to alternate letter D, C, D, C until you reach the end of the paracord lock. So I'm just going to show it one more time. You're going to form a letter D with your right cord. You're going to take your left cord, put it over, and thread that underneath and beneath the legs and through the letter D. Tighten it all the way. Next, we're going to do a letter C. Same exact thing. You're going to grab your right cord, put it over your left cord, have it thread underneath behind the two legs and through the letter C. Kind of looks like a pretzel. So just tighten that. Great, so we're going to continue and we're going to repeat the whole thing until we reach the end. So in this part, I'm going to go ahead and slow you down. I'm going to show you the pattern of the little snake so you know where to um, start with a C or a D. So you can see it's, it goes left, right, left, right, left. So this one ends on the left. So if it ends on the left, you're going to know you're going to form a letter C. Same thing on the other side. If it left, ends on the right, you're going to form a letter D. So I know you can get a little, oh, you kind of forget, oh, what letter am I on? So that's one trick. So in this case, I'm going to do a letter C. I'm just going to slow it down one more time. I'm going to thread that underneath the letter C and through. You're going to straight um, tighten it just like so. So next, you know, is a letter D. So we're nearing our end of reaching our paracord lock. We have a couple more knots to go. Every single time I do the knot at the very end, I make sure it's super tight. So in this case, I just double tighten it. So I have one more knot to go. It's not a letter D anymore. It's more like a, a little teardrop, but that's okay. You're just gonna pull through between. And tighten. So this is the part where parents, adult, please have your um, lighter ready. We're going to go ahead and start trimming off the end here and we're going to seal it with a lighter. You're going to grab your pair of scissors. You're going to cut as close as possible to the end. Make sure your scissors are sharp so that it cuts evenly. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. If your scissors are not as sharp and it starts to cut like unevenly and it starts to fray like, like that, go ahead, just trim off and try to even it out as much as possible. It doesn't look as nice, but it works. All right, parents, let's get your lighter ready. So sealing the paracord is very essential just so that your paracord threads doesn't um, thread. When sealing, make sure your lighter is um, on there enough so that when the paracord heats up, it melts all the way. And you just use your lighter to press down and seal it to the, the paracord knots. You're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. In this case, my lighter kind of went out before all the thread got melted. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do it again. And just press down. And that's it. You've already sealed your paracord. 
make sure you do this part or else your paracord will become undone. Adding the other layer gives a bit more um, thickness on your paracord, so it gives it more um, a better handle. What you're going to do, you're going to take off your carabiner. You're going to grab your second paracord and see those two loops with a little hole in the middle? You're going to go ahead and thread through your second paracord on there. And you're going to go ahead and grab your other end. You're going to find the middle or the half of that string. You're just going to pull. We're going to go ahead and put back the carabiner on there. So I'm pulling down the red cords just so that there's room for the carabiner to slide into. I just twist that all the way to the bottom and you're ready to start doing your knots again. The same exact thing we did in the blue one, we're going to do on the red paracord. So I'm first I'm going to do a letter D. I'm going to get my right string, form a D, get my left string, put it over, put my left string behind, and under the blue paracord. I'm going to hold down the paracord, the blue paracord with my hand just to um, have it stay put. And I'm going to tighten that as much as possible. I'm going to make sure the knot is at the very top nearest to the carabiner. Just like so. That's what it looks like in the back. Same exact thing. We're going to do the letter C. You're going to take your right paracord over your C underneath and behind the blue paracord through the letter C. So again, I'm pushing up my knot to the very top and tightening. If you don't push up your knot, your pattern is going to, um, it won't look as nice. So every time right before you tighten it, just kind of guide it all the way to the top. All right, we're going to continue on. So we're going to go fast forward. I'm, I went ahead and pretty much almost done with the red cord. I'm almost to my last couple of knots here. One last one. And the same thing as you did on the blue paracord, you're going to make sure it's super tight, especially on this one. And the same thing, parents, we're going to go ahead and get ready your lighter because we are going to cut and seal the ends of this paracord. I'm making sure it's super, super tight. Grab your pair of scissors. Go ahead, trim off as close as possible, just like that. Same thing on the other end. All right, parents, time for you to shine with your lighter. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing and seal the red paracord on there. Make sure all the threads are burnt or melted before we press it down. All right. So there you have it. You have your paracord bottle holder. And it also acts as a handle. So this one, this kit comes included with a little silver keychain. Go ahead, um, go ahead, pry open with your fingernail or your fingers. Um, if it's hard, go ahead, ask an adult to help you with this part and just thread through the paracord loop on there. There you have it, your finished product. I hope you enjoyed making this paracord tutorial. So I'll show you a couple ways how to use the, your paracord bottle holder. The first one is using with a water bottle or hydro flash. You're going to wrap your loop over the cap and just use the lock to tighten it. You go ahead, you, you can hook your carabiner onto a backpack, a purse, or a belt. Or the second way, you're going to go ahead and use the loop and use that as something to hook onto any item, so any handle. So you're going to go ahead, thread it through the handle, use your fingers, and grab the carabiner. And you're going to make the simple knot. And you could use that to hold any item, not just a water bottle. So same thing, you could hook it onto any backpack, purse, belt. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next month.
I hope you guys enjoyed making your paracord bottle holder. I want you guys to join me next month for the edible birdhouse that will be held on February 10th at 4 p.m. Make sure to sign up early on www.sandiego.librarymarket.com. It is the San Diego Public Library's calendar of event page. And also join us on the day of for Zoom live tutorial. It's going to be on facebook.com on SDPL Virtual Hub. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you next month.